So, tell me. <laughs> what? What are you thinking? I'm just embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? I just need the camera. Just continue. <laughs> just go. <laughs> you don't like doing this? No. I, I don't like attention on me. And maybe I guess that's another thing of my artwork is I can express myself and have something out there and be far away from it physically and let people look at things that way and kind of get my personal kind of point of view across without actually ever having someone looking at me or having a camera right at my face. <laughs> Shannon Johnson and I do drawing, painting, collage. I would say that the inspiration for most of my work is more personal. I I can tell you what it's not. It's not political or you know, I'm trying to make a big statement. It's usually things that are all, that are funny to me or when I'm doing something for someone else, which is more often the case, something that I know will make someone happy. The song that Jill gave me was Mama, which is about a mother and daughter, and uh, the mother has Alzheimer's, she's losing her memory, and just, it's just sad, the relationship going away. That's kind of what I struggled with a little bit, trying to come up with something that would honor the song and the lyrics and the whole idea and especially the bond of a mother, but then also making it something that wouldn't make you sad. The idea that I ended up with was the notion of sort of a quilt. And I have my grandmother's quilt that she made for me when I was very young. And I still wrap myself in it when I'm cold. It reminds me of my grandmother. It's handed down and it's coming apart, which is sad. But I just started thinking maybe I could do something like a quilt and have each bit of patchwork be bits of a story, like be bits of your life. In order to do the quilt idea, I used a woman's autobiography. The name of the book, I believe, was My Invented Country. And it was her memories, reflections, thoughts, exactly what I was looking for. And I just took the pages and, you know, put her memories, her thoughts in passages on the quilt and had them unravel slowly. And now when I look at it, I had wanted to follow through and do stitching to make it look like a real quilt, but as it came together, it started looking more like water flowing and less of a quilt and kind of looked like a stream. And the same idea though, just things starting together and then floating apart and being torn away. And so and then I just didn't want to fuss with it. It just kind of became its own thing and I thought this is this is how I like it. I'm really looking forward to the event. I think it's going to be great. I can't wait to see what the other pieces are and just how other people were inspired by Jill's music and just how people interpret the songs and you know and just again on top of it just all being for a great cause, Women for Women International. I think it's just going to be a really great great evening for women and for everyone who's there.